Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we're comparing the Under Armour Curry 5 with the Under Armour Curry 4s. Let's get it, boy. So today, we're talking about the Curry 5 against his big brother, the Curry 4. Stephen Curry, that boy is a bad man, bad bro. Man. Bad man. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why. It's the funniest thing to do. I love it. Today, we aren't talking about Stephen Curry and the way he performs on the court. We're talking about these bad boys right here and how they perform side by side each other. So let's just get straight into it. So starting out nicely with the aesthetics, Flo, what are you telling them? The Curry 4 is the greatest looking Curry of all time. Facts. Straight up. I don't think Facts. there is any comparison we can really make here. The Curry 4 is just clean. It and it's almost every colorway as well. Every colorway. The black and white colorway. Oh my God. Well, I think the more rings colorway. The, the more rings. Ah! Stop it, stop it. And by no means the Curry 5 a bad looking shoe, Not at all. but the Curry 4 is clean. So the point straight off the bat goes to the Curry 4. Facts, B. Facts. So next up, talking about traction. In the Curry 5, we've got that modified herringbone with that madness of a pivot, wheel, circle, square thing. Does the trick. It's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. Yeah, got the job done. Over here, we have life changing traction, ladies and gentlemen. This traction is insane. insane. We were so surprised as to how this traction actually performed. Incredible traction. The best traction that Pure Kicks has performed in so far. Facts. So without a doubt, the traction in this is, is yeah. it eclipses that. It eclipses, a good word. Way better. Eclipses, can you spell it? So the point goes, <laughs> So moving on to the cushion of both shoes over here in the Curry 4, apparently what we have is a proprietary mid-toe cushioning foam, but it doesn't feel like there's much hair to be honest with you, I just feel rubber really. That's floor. pretty much it. Rubber and floor. And sock. And sock. And hardwood. Yeah. That's the cushioning system. It's just sock and rubber. Yeah. Over here in the Curry 5, we have that EVA foam. And that's it. We have EVA foam. EVA, just a little bit of it, a little, little sum sum, but EVA foam. With that being said, EVA foam. Point goes to the EVA foam. Now by no means is the cushioning in both of these shoes a terrible thing for everybody. Facts. We both like cushioning, we like impact protection, we like our knees. You know, we like our knees. Um, but for those of you that like responsiveness, that really like court feel and don't give a damn about, you know, your knees pretty much, then both of these shoes are for you. There's a bit more cushion in the Curry 5, but they both have nothing pretty much. But the point goes to the Curry 5 purely for the sake of this comparison. So next up, talking about the materials of the shoes, in the Curry 5, we've got that knit construction with the anaphone containment zones from the forefoot into the lateral zone, into the heel counter. Over here in the Curry 4, what we have is this knitted internal sleeve with this synthetic overlay. Now the materials over here, have they broken in? Good question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I don't know if the shoe's broken in just yet. Because it feels exactly the same way. Yeah, it, it hurts, people. Um, I don't know much more to say then it hurts. So has the shoe broken in yet? I'm not too sure, Timmy. Over here, has the Curry 5 broken in? Yeah, yeah. Pretty minimal, broken pretty quickly after a couple hours of hooping in them. So yeah, materials did its thing for sure. They're light, they're flexible, and the foam is a new thing, which I like, and I mess with. So yeah. I say no more. I'm guessing the point has to go to the Curry 5 then. You guess right. You guess right. There it is. Now moving on to the fit in both shoes. Obviously I was just playing about the materials. The materials aren't great, but the fit isn't that bad. All right, it isn't that bad. Once it breaks in, once adrenaline kicks in, and you're sweating and you're playing hard, and you're playing good defense, you don't feel the pain too much. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like muscle memory. Your brain just gets used to the pain and it's fine. So the shoe fits 
fine. I've spoken to many people and they really like the fit in the shoe. Like, I, I think it's just my foot. I've got a bit of a regular foot and the shoe is, is a bit narrow. So obviously I did recommend that if you did get the Curry 4, go up half a size. But the fit isn't the greatest for us wide man them and girl them. When we're talking the fit of the Curry 5, it's pretty good. It's very good. It's actually an upgrade, so we're happy with that. Yes, we are. Upgraded for sure. It fits much, much nicer. Thanks to the knit, thanks to the anaphone material, which works hand in hand with the materials that like we said. Yeah. Yeah. A really nice fitting shoe. Does feel super sock like because of those materials. And then also like a contained sock. So, yeah. Pretty good fit. So the point goes to the Curry 5. Now, talking about the support in both shoes over here in the Curry 4, what we have is your outrig of the shoe. We have the lockdown from the actual shoe itself. And we have nothing else and that's pretty much it yeah the support in the shoe it's not great at all whatsoever i don't like it the curry's shoe line mm. is made for people that wear ankle braces i think so where the way his shoe goes now it's with the sock like construction it's just to create space for an ankle brace so the support is like half finished if that makes sense it's not complete just yet so if you have an ankle brace then the support should be great but I don't wear one, so the support wasn't great for me. Over here in the Curry 5, we've also got those regular suspects of the outrigger. You've got that anaphone, as I mentioned earlier, which actually helps with that lateral support. And we have a heel counter. This time. Vampire Fangs heel counter. Just a little sum, mm -hmm. a little sum. Again, just a little upgrade. I didn't have to do it. And some padding on the inside too, which helps with the Achilles. These come together, which does add to the incomplete support, but it's still incomplete. So if we're gonna put numbers on it, it might have what? 40%? 40%? 45%. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like Flo said earlier, the Curry line is almost designed for ankle braces. And even the way you can see on the Curry 5, it being a low top, the first in its line as well, you can really see that. Yeah. Curry himself wears him with an ankle brace, a very aggressive ankle brace. I think yeah. it's made out of vibranium. It might, um, must be. It must be. It must be. But yeah, get yourself a vibranium ankle brace and then you'll have 100% support in the curry line. That's be vibranium. Don't know where to go. There'll be a link in the description. There we go. Last but definitely not least, talking about the price on both shoes. Now these are both priced at 115. But which is better value for money? I mean, I guess the curry five is a bit of an upgrade. We have EVA this time. We have EVA. We have, you know, Vampire Fangs Hill yeah, Counter. counter. So I guess you do get better value for money in the Curry 5. Overall, it is a better performer. So we're talking about value for money. Yes, they're both priced exactly the same, but value for money has to be Curry 5. Somehow, some way. So all right, guys, there you have it. If we look at the scores, looks like 5-2 to the Curry 5. So it comes out on top. Now, we may come across a little negative when we talk about the Curry shoes. But it's not the case. We no. actually really enjoy playing in these shoes. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I don't know about you, but my shot goes up by like 50%. Mine goes up by 70%, bro. 70%? Yeah, I don't, know, 70? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But we shoot a lot better in these shoes than, than any, any other, other shoe, which is crazy. And we're not lying right now, people. I'm not fronting. I shoot so much better in this shoe. I don't know what it is. It must be the lack of pushing in. I, I think. don't know. The only thing that's different between a lot of shoes, but shot is, shot is on when we're in this shoe. So all right guys, that's everything from us. As always, like this video and show your support as you guys already have. Hit that thumbs up button, we'd really, really appreciate it. And of course, comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top. Is it the Curry 5 or the Curry 4? We'd love to know if you've tried out both or if you plan on picking up either one of the pairs for yourself. Follow us on Instagram at purekicks.ig and on Twitter as well at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date with Pure Kicks. Whether it's our comparisons, our unboxings, NBA talks or performance reviews, hit the bell next to the button and of course the subscribe button so you get notified every time we drop a new video. So guys, that's it from us. This is the Under Armour Curry 5. It's Under Armour Curry 4. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it.